All right, I'm going to read you the story, Herman the Helper. You're going to get to meet his friends and his family and all the people he helped. Herman the Helper by Robert Cross. And this is the title page. Herman liked to help. You see Herman right there? Here he is. He's right there. See him? Thank you, Herman, said the fish. Apparently that fish got in that, caught in that shell. He helped his mother. Look. He helped her with some flowers and tying bouquets and planting. Isn't that neat? Thanks. That's nice, Herman, said his mother. And then, isn't that beautiful, she said. Look at what, look at what he did. Isn't that great? He helped her plant like a whole garden. Then he helped his father. His father asked him to help hide him. So Herman got sponges and things to hide his dad. And look, there's his dad hiding in all the rocks right there. Isn't that cool? Huh? He says, that's my dad. He even helped his brothers and sisters so they could swim around and so they wouldn't get caught by that big old fish. And they said, thank you, Herman. You saved the day. Herman's great. Keep up the good work, Herman. He helped his aunt. His aunt needed to decorate her hair. And look, what a beautiful bouquet she has on her head. Isn't that pretty? He helped his uncle make a ship in a bottle. That's cool looking, huh? Because the uncle was too big to get in the bottle, but Herman could get in there and help him set everything up. Sometimes it's nice to be little because you can get into small places. He helped his friends get loose from different things and coral and stuff so they'd be safe. And they said, thank you, Herman. They really appreciate their friend, Herman. He is a really good friend. He helped his enemies even. These were people that scared him a little bit, but he wanted to help them anyway. And guess what? He saved the day for them and got them away from that, that uh, monster under the sea. He helped the young. He helped them play little games. Look at that. Isn't that a cool game? Yeah, it looks like a little merry-go-round kind of game. And he helped the old, too. These were older turtles that had a harder time moving, and he helped them by putting little balloons around them. He's a really nice, nice helper. Herman helped people that needed a place to live, and he found them a ship, people, excuse me, fish that needed a place to live, and he found them a place to live on the ship. Oh my gosh, isn't that great? Herman helped the firemen. Look, they put out a fire. Isn't that great? He got the whale to help the whale squirt the water on there and help the firemen on, this, on the land. That is awesome. And he helped the policeman, too. Look at the police. He helped the policeman so that the fish could go down the right roads and they knew where to stop and where they could go when it was time to go, see? Then the clock struck six and Herman hurried home. He washed his hands and his face. Washing hands are as important, isn't it, boys and girls? Then he said, he played for a little bit, and he said, you know what? I'm hungry. And he sat down to supper with his mom and dad. May I help you? May I help you get some mashed potatoes? Asked Herman's father. And Herman said, no thanks. I'll help myself. The end. He is a really good helper, isn't he? You guys are good helpers too. And I know that you're putting your little notes up on your little helper hand at home and mommy's doing that too, okay? So keep that good work and keep being helpers to mom and dad. And your grown-ups you help that help you with your homework if mom and dad aren't there, okay? All right, boys and girls, talk to you later.